Too big to fly that fast. And yet here it is, it's doing it. One of many posts on social media begging the question, what was that in the sky? Turns out many Southern Ontarians just had a close encounter of the NASA kind. Our overall objective is to study urban air quality. Uh, so we are target, targeting not just Toronto, but also New York City, uh, Los Angeles, uh, and also Chicago. Rebecca Schwantes is one of the lead scientists on the AROMA project, which stands for Atmospheric Emissions and Reactions Observed from Megacities to Marine Areas. In short, we want to sample where humans are. <laughs> so using the tools at their disposal, NASA is getting as close to the surface as they're allowed <laughs> to better understand the quality of air you're breathing. And while vehicle emissions have historically been a key pollutant, they'll be honing in on other sources of air pollution. And things like perfumes, deodorants, uh, fragrances that are added to like laundry detergents and uh, soaps and stuff. NASA tells us in total, three aircraft flew over the GTA on Friday and Saturday. The most visible, the DC-8, which could be seen flying at low altitudes. It's being flown at very low levels, uh, about 1,500 feet, 500 meters. <laughs> above the ground. A lot of coordination is done beforehand with the air, local air traffic control um, authorities. And while scientists weren't initially setting out to track the impact of wildfire smoke on air pollution, it's certainly been noticed. And when all is said and done, 2023 will have been an exceptionally bad air quality year, not just here for us in you know, Toronto or other major Canadian cities, but you know we've seen how Canadian smokes made its way well down into the United States time and time again. Shalima Maharaj, Global News.